And now to what's being described as the clearest report yet on how climate change is overheating our planet's oceans and glaciers. The UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says the rate of ocean warming has doubled since 1993 and will continue to rise. Oceans absorb 90 percent of the world's excess heat. Marine heat waves have also doubled in frequency since the early 1980s and the rate is expected to increase. The IPCC says sea levels will rise, affecting hundreds of millions of people in low-lying and coastal areas before the end of the century. And under all scenarios, the report predicts marine life will continue to decline. And the report also details how glaciers, snow cover and Arctic sea ice will, be con will continue to melt. Greenpeace scientists are building a case to protect more marine areas. And our correspondent Nick Clark is in the South Atlantic Ocean off the coast of South America with them. Yes, we're on board the Greenpeace ship Esperanza, where scientists are investigating a newly discovered area of reef. We're about 600 odd kilometers from the mouth of the Amazon in that direction, and about 130 kilometers from the shore of French Guiana. And scientists here on board are conducting all manner of research from the seabed to the surface, hoping to bolster the case for protection of the world's oceans to the tune of 30% by the year 2030. The team here following closely the publication of this report, which lays out in stark terms how the oceans are warming, the dangers of sea level rise, which could affect hundreds of millions of people, and the impact on biodiversity. And earlier we spoke to Serge Plain from the French Centre for Scientific Research, and he gave us his assessment. The concern is, first of all, very personal, is that I, I grew up with a world, with a certain scenario, with a certain vision of the world and then we have a certain wildlife and I'm always a little bit sad to think that I will leave to my daughter. I've got a daughter, she's pretty young, she's uh, only 20 and plus and so I will leave that world very different so, to what I get and so it's a personal sensibility first before a scientific I would say uh, sensibility on that. In the context of the IPCC you get to worry about uh, life being, I've been able in several centuries and, and, and millennium to adapt to different uh, habitat and then suddenly we're changing that habitat, we're transforming that habitat and so the, the end of these, these uh, the end up of those fauna, we don't know exactly but clearly they'll be strongly affected. Yes, the climate is changing, yes, our planet is changing, yes, we are getting into over uh, uh, temperature and this is, this is, this is going to change our, uh, our habits. This is not going to be only changing the wildlife, this is going to change also the agriculture, this is going to change also where we're living and, and our uh, lifestyle. Serge Plain there. Well, it's evident that the oceans of the world are taking a direct hit when it comes to the climate crisis. It's also clear that research and science, the like of which we're seeing here on board the Esperanza, is crucial if we're to mitigate the worst effects of climate change. Abdallah Moxid is the secretary of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and he joins us now on Skype from Morocco. Great to get you on the program. Thank you very much. Now, we've outlined a few of some very alarming findings about the warming oceans, but if you had to address uh, what your most important issue is right now that needs to be looked at, what would it be? Uh Thank you very much for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak about uh, the outcome of uh, our special report about uh, uh, ocean and cryosphere in a changing climate. Uh, yes, I, uh, the target for uh, uh, any research and also in the light what was have been found in our report is we should uh, uh, give more attention to all this uh, research about the possibility for those population uh, uh, living in this uh, uh, area with risk uh, in, in order to improve their ability uh, to adapt to the impact to, to climate change and also those are related to the changes in ocean, in uh, food security, as well as the sea level rise. This is, I think, uh, the main, uh, the main uh, uh, area of uh, focus and also attention should be also provided to deal with how some uh, uh, minorities are living like indigenous people and also uh, uh, population uh, living in uh, the Ar Arctic and all th those are reasons for high mountain. Okay. 
The warming oceans will affect everyone, uh, not just people in low-lying areas eventually. Can you see these, uh, this being reversed in any way? Can we, can we claw back some of, some of this environmental damage? Or do you think we now have to think of a way of adapting to this uh, sad but a new uh, climate and environment that, that we have damaged so much? Uh, yes, I think one uh, very interesting outcome of this report is uh, about irreversible aspect of this uh, uh, climate change also damage. I think uh, it is well stated that uh, climate change is uh, clearly irreversible, mainly in this uh, situation where we are living and uh, with also those strategies about the limitation of, of uh, emission of greenhouse gases. Uh, and for sure, I think uh, all what we can do now is to think how we can introduce uh, an efficient adaptation uh, for all the process, because now uh, we are living in the uh, scenario of, uh, of uh, uh, increasing uh, in temperature. Uh, we are already uh, around one uh, point to uh, increase in uh, anomaly of temperature. And we are targeting uh, uh, the possibility to be below 1.5 uh, degrees uh, uh, as an uh, anomaly. And also, any action that can lead to this limitation can provide the possibility to have uh, uh, still the possibility to have a good uh, adaptation possibility. Going uh, uh, higher will compromise uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this adaptation and also will e even close any possibility to, 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 to let uh, the ocean area and also the, all the, the uh, uh, region with mm -hmm. uh, ice, uh, uh, with their ice, still with their ice. Uh, because uh, l l right. with 1.5 degrees C, we can have still some uh, area with ice. And, and, but uh, sadly, as you say, so much of this is irreversible and cannot be changed in the near future. Thank you very much. It was great to speak to you, Mr. Abdullah Moxid, Secretary of the Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change. Thank you.